Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dinewo. Today we're talking about something rather serious, but before that, I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who's been watching, commenting, and subscribing. And to anyone who's new here, if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, and that is just so exciting. Thank you a million times. The Didi and Cassie situation, they both have been in the headlines for quite some time now, but this particular round of discourse has been started by a leaked hotel footage that shows Didi doing some very horrendous things to Cassie. He was beating her. In this video that I will not put up here, you can see Didi using one of his hands to keep his towel intact and using the other to beat and drag her back to the hotel room she was trying to run away from him she didn't even have shoes on and that shows how much she was just fed up and done and she wanted out but she ends up getting pulled back into the hotel room as this video was circulating the internet there was one question that i kept seeing more times than i should have people were asking why didn't she leave Every single time a man or a woman comes up out with a story of abuse and they're like, you know, this has gone on for so many years, people are like, but wait, so many years? Why didn't you leave? Why did you stay for so long? What, what was the problem? What held you back? And at first I was like, this is an ignorant question. I'm not going to address it. But eventually, the more times I saw it, then I was like, okay, maybe people really do not understand. So I'm going to talk about that. You know, with abuses, usually their pattern is like straight from the uh, book of abuse. They start with isolating you from your family and friends, which I'm thinking that is what happened. Of course, at first, they're going to love bomb you, do all these good things for you and, you know, lure you in. And then once you're in, they start isolating you. So, yes, I'm thinking that's what happened. But first, before I get into that, I have a bone to pick with the parents once again. When Cassie and Didi started dating, she was like 20, 21, and he was almost 40. How did the parents look the other way and just let this happen when they knew all of these things that Didi was already being accused of? Even at that time, Didi had a very violent history, violent past, but the parents just looked the other way. I really just wish parents would start being very you know active and being honest as parents and do more we have seen a whole lot of parents look the other way simply because they're benefiting from the situation that was not a good situation to begin with cassie being involved in a relationship with a man who's like over four who's almost 40 and with so many bad accusations already that was just not ideal but anyway i digress so as i'm talking about the isolation part she probably was isolated from everybody else and it makes it hard for you to reach out to your family and your friends when you're now facing this bad situation because as far as everyone is concerned they're seeing you on tv you're fine you're doing well so you coming up with a story of abuse would be like far-fetched it's like it's this thing that does not exist in their minds and you want to keep that fantasy going on they seeing you conquering the world with this person and you look happy she did look happy while all of this was happening so that might be one of the things that made her to not speak out against it or leave in that particular time when their relationship was starting out. And number two, Cassie and Didi were in a lot of drug-induced experiences together. We have seen a video footage before of Cassie being on the floor. She had a blanket over her, her whole body and you can just tell this is not normal. And things like that can alter the way that you think. You're not your normal self. You're not you know, thinking the way you would if you're not under the influence of drugs. That is another reason. The third possible reason is the power dynamics. We see this in the age difference. Didi was old enough to be Cassie's father so I can see how that would that made it easy for him to dominate her also she was signed under bad boy records so financially she had no freedom she was under this person he was as good as her boss that would make it hard the fourth reason is intimidation this one is a classic and for a man in Didi's stature he had so much money so much power so much connections 
of course he intimidated her and told her if you leave me these are the things that i'm going to do to you so i'm thinking if you live with him and he's abusing you exerting this power over you he is going to intimidate you and you are going to be afraid like this man is everyone's friend and in the house that they the houses that they're living in he has so much security and if he tells the security that you need to make sure that she doesn't leave of course she's not going to leave also we have just seen what happens when she did try to leave all of this leads me to the second part of this conversation today what we can do to prevent uh, these kind of things from happening and first before i get into that i want to make it very clear there's never going to be a time where i am victim blaming or a time where i'm defending an abuser Didi is a horrible person and i really wish they can like find a way and put him under the jail we have already found out that he's not going to be arrested for this particular video because apparently it, the time for it to be able to be used has expired or something like that but i do wish somehow he gets you know called to justice and they put him under the jail my second part is that as women we can find ways to avoid these kind of situations why am i saying that at the time when cassie and didi started dating they were both seeing other people cassie was with her producer at the time didi was with kim porter a friend of kim porter's just came out to say that uh when Didi started dating cassie he was being mean and ill-treating kim porter but Cassie was not saying anything about that. She was enjoying it since she was now going to be the one to replace Kim and now get all these good things, get all these material things. So she said nothing when all the abuse was going to Kim Porter just for Cassie to replace Kim. I don't know how true that is, but I would not be surprised. We have seen this happening a lot. Uh, Charles Makata style, we've seen this in the Tyler Perry movies where now the new girl would be watching the, the man do all these bad things to another woman because she knows that she's now going to be the one getting all of these benefits. I don't know how true that is again, but I would not be surprised. Another thing, for Cassie to leave the person that she was dating at the time to date Didi, that kind of tells us about the kind of person that she is. I'm not saying by any means, please, I'm not saying that she deserves what happened to her. No one deserves to be kicked like a dog like that. No one deserves to be treated like that. No one deserves to go through abuse. But what I'm saying is that we can be careful about the situations that we put ourselves into. Had she not left that other guy to date Didi, all of this would have never happened. We do find ourselves as women using, uh, choosing material things over genuine connections. We do find ourselves glorifying and worshipping money. And this is exactly the kind of things that happen when you are a person that looks at everything in the eyes of what can I get? Or this man has more than this man, so this man is superior regardless of how they treat you. We have seen so many clips of people, clips like this. Would you stay with a man that beats you every Friday, but he pays you 800k? Would you stay with a man that beats you every Friday, but he pays you 800 k These women are jokingly saying that they would date someone that beats them for money. Yes, it is jokes in this video, but unfortunately, those are the things that happen in real life. We are seeing more and more people glorifying and worshipping money. We have people like the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady. Everyone loves her. She's so popular. People are buying whatever it is that she's selling. People are willing to listen to whatever she's saying because she's glorifying the idea of women just taking, taking, taking. And those are the kind of things that happen when we become a society of women that just look at things through the eyes of what can I get from the situation. Again, I, am, I would never say uh, Cassie deserved all of these bad things that happened to her. No, she should have never had to experience that. But at the same time, we are looking at this now and saying, what can we learn from this situation? We can learn to not glorify money. Had she not maybe looked at Diddy in this way of, oh, wow, he has so much money, he has so much power, he can do this for me. Maybe she would have not, not ever experienced all of these bad things. There is a lot of situations where I feel like women put themselves in the uh, in relationships with these kind of men who are just not good look at Khutman and Zinile they were trending for the past two days because he decided to re to release leak their sex footage I 
don't know if it's him but i would not be surprised everyone is saying that it's him because of the way that he's been acting and the reputation that he has uh Dinele has known the type of person that this guy is he's always been a scammer people have always come out speaking against him it has not been uh, a secret the type of guy that he is how bad of a person he is but she stayed with him she was even at some point defending him when people were coming up against him saying coming out against him saying that he's scamming them he's doing this he's doing that she was benefiting from the situation so she stayed with him and now she is getting done the way that he has done other people and now it's sad and i do feel sorry for her but at the same time what can we learn from the situation stop dealing with these types of men even with didi after the whole cassie situation kim porter all the past allegations the history of violence he still has women lining up to date him right now as we're speaking there are women who will willingly date that guy he got to date uh, that woman seresha she dated this guy knowing very well all these things that he's been ac- accused of and now when they experience the um, negative side effects of being with these people they're going to come out go to all these podcasts and tell us about how he did this to me he did that to me but you knew the type of person you were dealing with so now how are you acting surprised look at the rappers who have broken so many families there are people who are lining up to date these people they will know that this man is a an abuser he physically assaults people he does this all these bad things they don't mind they will date these guys and again uh, i will never be someone that defends uh, abuse in any type of way but can we just be cautious about the situations that we get ourselves into let's stop just dating these horrible men trust me there is good men out there and you know the funny part is that the good guys who make an honest living doing 9 to 5s they get clowned for doing those honest jobs they are told that they are boring you will even see um a pattern even with our influencers and stuff they will willingly date these guys who are criminals people who are just doing all sorts of bad things because they come with money they don't care about any other thing it's just all about the money